Shaking my head. I thought we established this, Stans. We are not friends. Stan sent a friend request. I'm a, I'm a bad boy. You think this is funny, dry sarcasm? You think this is funny? I tell you that we're not friends, and then the one time I send you a friend request, you fucking roast me publicly? Here's the deal. We are not friends. You are an employee. You are a peasant. You are a peon, dry sarcasm. I paid you money to do a job, dry sarcasm, and now you're trying to fake it like we are friends? I am your employer. I am Bezos, and you are my factory worker, dry sarcasm. Huh? Why don't you tell the people that? <laughs> POV, the Grand Canyon isn't as cool as you thought. Oh, it's a video. Okay. He's at the Grand Canyon. <laughs> he's got an Among Us background. Connects to YouTube. Obviously, he's been searching for the Stan Show and Among Us memes. Oh, but he's got no internet. Goes to Twitch. Following. Stans. Gen G. Oh, still no internet. Now you have to look at this majestic canyon. Feels bad, dude. One night stands. Please, imagine. Oh, feels bad, man. I love the Grand Canyon. I'll tell you guys a little story. I love nature. I believe that there is nothing more precious and beautiful than our national parks. Rochelle hates boy. nature, hates the environment, said verbatim that she didn't get all the hype for the Grand Canyon. I could stare at the Grand Canyon for years. I could literally sit at the top and meditate in front of the sheer wonder and majesty of the Grand Canyon. And Rochelle's saying, hey, where's the Starbucks? You know what I'm saying? That little ledge is the Grand Canyon. Yeah, li little, little ledge, dude. Are you, are you high? Are you smoking dope? This is the Grand Canyon. What canyons are you in? This is grand. I didn't know Stans was in Digimon from Cinnabunny. Very cool. I do kind of look like that monkey with that smirk. What is this monkey's name? Is he actually a Digimon? Or is he like a human in a Digimon outfit? That's Edamon? Pat Fusty after training for the Iron Man? Yeah. I am a monkey guy. Actually, can I open something for you guys? I'm going to give you guys a little sneak peek. Chat, if there's one thing you need to know about me, it's that I'm the monkey man. I'm the monkey man because I do monkey shit. I watch Dunstan Checks In. I play balloons. I have monkey stuffed animals. I am the monkey man. And to prove it, let's do some monkey shit. Zimbabwe. <laughs> His legs are so much longer than I thought they would be. That's terrifying. This is not a cute monkey. This is, this is the slender man of monkeys. I thought he was gonna have cute little gorilla legs. He's got fucking slender man legs, dude. This is why I'm the monkey man. I got monkey shit and I do it with my friends. So that's why when I see an Adamon looking just like me, I think that this is just one more link in the chain. Okay, well, now that we did the monkey thing, I, you can't even see him in the background, kind of unfortunate. Holy shit, Viper is stinkier than ever. Stinky teeth everywhere, now. And they do 1% more damages. Holy shite, this is the end of Valorant. Get Viper and her stinky teeth out of here. If you are beating off to Valorant characters, don't post it on my subreddit. I don't need to know what you children are spanking it to. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, stop me. <laughs> this is Poyo's Tacos account. Poyo's Tacos, most famous recently for replying to girls on Twitter asking him to bark. <laughs> Here's Poyo saying meow. <laughs> With the Sonic one. Meow for me from Bowser's wife. And he says, uh, meow. <laughs> this is so fucking funny, dude. It's a manga reference? Yeah, yeah, totally. Uh, next up, happy April Fool's Day from Great Big Doggo. Any gifters? April Fools, I'm the gifter. Hey, thank you, man. That's so sick. What a, what a prank you played. Hey, you know what would be a funny prank? Imagine if you said April Fools, I'm the gifter, and then you gifted like five subs, and the prank is, it's not April Fools, dude. It's April 5th, you know? Imagine. Imagine. That would be such a good prank. I think any chatter could do it. Any chatter could gift five and say April Fools, and I would just... Oh, I would just be laughing. I would be laughing so fucking hard at that prank. And it's just a prank, bro. Just a prank. Hey, don't get mad at it because it's just a prank. Damn, it feels good. <laughs> Great McDoggo. Thank you for gifting five. <laughs>
Roll him and smoke him, chat. What a prank. Yeah. Got him. Hey, got him. The five-day prank. Damn, it feels good. Oh, shit. Seth gifting five. Simon gifting five. <sighs> There's too many heads. I can't shoot them all. Enderon speed. Thank you for the five. Oh, that one's going to take a rifle. Damn, it feels good. <sighs> I'm getting trolled here. You've got to stop. It. Sting quizzer. Thank you for the five gifted. Pajamit. Thank you for the ten gifted. We will hold! They can't keep gifting! They can't Damn, keep doing it! Good. We can remain salt. The market can remain chaotic for longer than they can remain solvent or something like that. They will not break this wall. Damn it. Vanna White, thank you for the good. five gifted. You shall not pass! Okay, we gotta move on to the next post because you guys are gonna lose all your money from all this epic pranking. Goaded Wife from Dougie Man 22. Rochelle stopping in to say hi. Stan's calling himself the primary breadwinner. Dougie, this is really embarrassing. I'd like to do this off stream, Dougie. You mixed up the captions. <laughs> Dougie, obviously this is this is me. It's Rochelle kind of being scared by how much money I'm making. And the, the muscles of the money. You know what I mean? It's like Stan's here, here, let me let me remake this for you. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna copy image. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this for you, don't you worry. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna help you. How, how do you work this godforsaken machine? It's too advanced. I, re I repeat, it's too advanced. Okay, here we go. This is perfect. This is this is perfect. This is working. Dougie, this is for you. Dougie, I'm just trying to help you. I'm just trying to make sure you don't embarrass yourself again for like maybe next week's Reddit rehash. Okay, get the Fortnite font. You're going to want to use the Fortnite font. That's the first tip. Okay, yeah, that's good. That's a good start. Actually, can I put a backing on it or something? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. Oh, no, we beans it. Help! Help! Pain is too hard! Uh, yeah, that's my meme. That, that... This is this would get a lot of upvotes. Uh, so that's a good meme for you, Dougie. Maybe try that one next week. And it would be it would be funnier, it would be good. I, I don't I know I'm the content man. I know I'm providing this for you every week. I know I'm funny and quick and fast and handsome and big smile and would definitely beat Steph Curry in LeBron's body or whatever. But you know, just next time, try it. Modern day Socrates. We got a video here. How much booba is too much booba? I can explain. <laughs> when watching content. It's sometimes hard to find the line between not enough booba and too much booba. And my job as a content creator, actually my job as a hero, should I say, I mean, I'm not saying it, other people are calling me a hero, is to find the line between how much is just right. What is the Goldilocks zone of booba? As an ally, as, as I'm an ally, I'm an ally. I'm an ally to the people. On to the next post. Sexiest picture of Stan's no cap. Now, Red E West side. If this is not a sexy picture, if this is something that is mean or hurtful, you will be banned. Is this safe for work? Should I check it? Oh my god, it's not safe for work. I can't show this. I can't show this. You're gonna have to go to the Reddit. I, I don't know what to tell you. You're gonna have to go to the Reddit and see for yourself. This is actually too hot for Twitch.television. This will get me a three-day ban. I cannot show you. I can't show you. I can't show you. I can't do it.